Hello, hello. How is everyone? Thank you very much for being on time. I want to thank you. Allow me one moment. I will go ahead and share this with you. Let's see, here we go. I have this prepared. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you very much for everyone who is on time today. We are eight people right now. We have Edgardo, Emerson, Joel, Awesome, Nestor, Saul, and William. Perfect. All right, guys. And we will be starting today, module intermediate level number one, which is great. And Carla just joined. I believe that you were with me before. Catherine, excellent. Good night, teacher. Hi, good night, Carla. And good night to everyone. It is very nice to meet you. I will be your teacher, coach, mentor, whatever you want to call it for this module, which is going to be beginning today. And we are just giving just a few more minutes, solo dando unos minutitos más, so that as many people as they can are able to join. Y podamos comenzar con la mayor cantidad de personas posible. But I want to welcome you guys and thank you very much for being on time today. And we are going to be um, meeting everyone. Vamos a estar conociéndonos and also reviewing the contents for this module. We have five sections as usual. These are very short sections, you will see. But they are interesting topics, son temas muy interesantes. Sí, we have right now 15 people on the call. Hello, good night, teacher. Hi, good night. How are you? Well, the rest of everyone. Hi, is thank you. And you? Thank you. I'm very well. Thank you for asking. I'm oh, very good. I'm glad you're okay. It is a Wednesday, my dude. I'm going to go ahead and share with you, aquí en el chat de Zoom, dos links. One link a nuestro grupo de WhatsApp, in case uh, haya alguien que no haya podido unirse aún. Mm -hmm. I will go ahead and share it right now on the chat. There it goes. And also, I'll be sharing the link to our YouTube playlist. Este es el link a nuestra playlist de YouTube. And there I will be uploading. One moment. There we go. There I will be uploading all of our classes. Todas nuestras clases, uh, yo se las subo the same day. Este mismo día, ustedes lo van a ver. Our class finishes at, at 10. So our class should be up at around 11.30 por tarde. A las 11.30 por tarde. So that would be uh, a very good way of you guys to, for you guys to review the contents para que podamos revisar los contenidos. Now let's see. I see that we are 20 people right now. Excellent. Estamos 20 personas. So I think it is safe to go ahead and start. Les voy a poner just one moment. Let's see. Here I have for you this presentation. And this is the schedule of our classes for this module, guys. And what we're going to be reviewing this month of this module. Algunos ya los conozco de um, 
del module anterior que estuvieron conmigo en Beginners 3, en Principiantes 3. I know, let's see, I know Carla, I know some of you guys, but for those of you that don't know me, uh, mi nombre es Alejandra, mi nombre es Alejandra Cardoza. I am going to be your teacher, mentor, facilitator, whatever you want to call me. You can call me Alejandra, Ale, whatever you feel the most comfortable with. Estaré para ayudarles para este module de Intermedio 1. Uh, and it's going to be a great module, guys. This is filled with a lot of interesting topics, temas super interesantes, super importantes para la formación del idioma. Um, a little bit about me. He estado estudiando el idioma for around, for around um, 13, 13, 14 years, 13, 14 años. And this is not my only job. También trabajo durante el día. Um, also in English, en un ámbito completamente diferente related to, related to law, leyes, and all those kind of things. Pero in anything that I can help you, uh, sepan que lo voy a hacer. También estoy en WhatsApp. While I am teaching, mientras estoy dando la clase, probablemente mm, no esté viendo el teléfono. So if any of you notice, any of you guys notices que alguien tiene algún problema de algún problema técnico or anything that you need help with, por favor háganmelo saber and I will check it and send a note to the technical department para que puedan asistirle a esa persona. And apart from that, uh, let's see. Well, quienes ya me conocen, you know that um, pronunciation is very important for me. Vamos a estar practicando bastante pronunciation, bastante reading para obtener bastante vocabulario. Todo el material que ocupemos, igual que este um, planificación, se las voy a estar mandando a WhatsApp. Les voy a estar mandando um, material, igualmente a WhatsApp para practice, para que ustedes puedan practicar por su cuenta. And before uh, we start with the presentations, antes de que podamos conocernos más, I just need to make two announcements. Solo necesito hacer dos anuncios. The first one of them being... Que como pueden ver, bueno, ustedes saben que normalmente las clases las realizamos de día lunes a jueves. But, due to the fact that we are starting our classes on Wednesday, el día de hoy miércoles, para reponer días lunes y martes, yesterday and the day before yesterday. Entonces, durante las primeras dos semanas, which is this week and next week, Vamos a estar teniendo clases los días viernes. So, uh, this is our schedule, right? This is our schedule. We are starting classes today, el día miércoles 25. Y vamos a terminar las clases, let's see. Y vamos a terminar las clases on Thursday the 17th, el día jueves 17. Así que vamos a tener clases esta semana y la próxima semana día viernes. La próxima semana día viernes ya estaríamos haciendo el midterm test, as you can see, pero ya vamos a ver mejor la planification. And we will be reviewing uh, the final test on Thursday the 17th. Y eso me lleva al segundo anuncio que debo hacer, which is that... Um, en su plataforma ustedes pueden ver que uh, sale como fecha final el 26 de diciembre. But esa es la fecha, digamos, final para que ustedes ya estén inscritos en su siguiente module, which will be Intermediate 2. Pero la fecha en la que ustedes deben de tener finalizada la platform, all of the sections, knowledge checks, discussions, etc., es el día 17 de diciembre, December 17th, at midnight, a la medianoche, para que puedan estar successfully registered for the next module, para estar exitosamente inscritos a su siguiente módulo después de este mes. That being said, guys, we will learn a lot. Este módulo aprenderemos muchísimo, vamos a practicar muchísimo as well. Y 
es un proceso continuo. I still learn to this day. Aún aprendo este día. Pero espero poder compartirles parte de esta información. And to be able to help you guys. And I do see that we are 25 people right now. Estamos 25 personas. So let's better get going para conocernos un poco más. Porque la mayoría no los conozco. So, all right, guys. Antes de que comencemos a presentarnos, ¿alguien tiene alguna duda before we start? No? All right. Eh, teacher, eh, con respecto a la plataforma, no sé si estaba dando problemas porque hoy yo me intenté meterme y y se empezaba a trabajar y cuando le daba enviar no me dejaban o sea no me no podía enviar para que me salieran si las respuestas estaban buenas o estaban mal ah comprendo no le dejaba dar submit exacto I understand okay voy a preguntar esto about me lo voy a poner aquí en una notepad y lo voy a dejar anotado para hacer esta inquiry okay voy a hacer esta duda Y e igualmente intentemos, after this class, intentar poner una respuesta, cerrar la aplicación, volverla a abrir y ver si podemos enviarla. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Thank you. Awesome. So, let's get started with you, uh, Samuel. Is it okay if I call you Samuel? Or do you prefer Antonio? Uh, Antonio. Antonio, okay. Thank you, Antonio. I will call you that then. Thank you. And it's very nice to meet you. And let's continue with Angel. Hi, Angel. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. It's very nice to meet you. Is Angel okay? Yes, yes. Angel awesome. Nice Excellent. to meet you. Thank you. It's very nice I to meet you. I feel so happy with Why? you. You know, I want uh, to learn a lot of things with you. Excellent. That's very good. We are going to be learning a lot. I have a lot to say. A veces me desvío y empiezo a dar facts de otras cosas, but it's going to be fun. Okay, we're going to learn a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks. Of course. Nice to meet you. Let's continue with Saul. Uh, good night. It's Hi, very Saul. nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you. I oh, hope to you. I hope to be very happy in this course and to learn a lot. We will. We will be very happy. We have all of the energy every day. And I celebrate with you. Les quiero dar este dato. I don't know if you do that with any other teachers or any other module. Pero quien ha estado conmigo uh, previously, you know that I celebrate a graduation. Yo les pongo una graduation card al final. Uh, por haber terminado el module conmigo. But that's just something I do. And so we're going to have fun every day. Or at least try to. Hay temas que son pesaditos, but... We're going to try to learn having fun. And it was very nice to meet you, Sally. Let's see. Let's continue with Carlos. Uh, good night, teacher. Hi, good night, Carlos. How are you? Fine, you? I'm very well, thank you. And is Carlos okay? Can I can I call you Carlos? Yeah, it's okay. It's my name. Yes. Awesome. I like cool. the yes. Thank um, you. I'm glad to meet with you and all the classmates, and I hope to learn a lot of today. Excellent, Carlos. Thank you very much for sharing. That's awesome to hear. Too. Now, now, let's continue with Claribel. Hi, everyone. Can you listen to me? Yes, 
We can hear you. Okay. Um, my name is Claribel, and I'm glad to be here with all of you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Claribel. Do you have, a, a, is it okay if we call you Claribel? Yes, I'm okay. Um, I like my name. Awesome. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty name. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's continue with Claudia. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Oh, very well. Thank you for asking. Is it okay if we call you Claudia? Yes, it's okay. Awesome. Thank you very much for sharing, Claudia. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you, Claudia. Now, let's see. Let's please continue with Edgardo. Hi, Miss Ale. Hi, everyone. Hi. Nice to meet you. So, everyone. I am Edgar, and I am 18 years old, and I am a student. So, always ready with positivity. And Excellent. Nice I love that. <laughs> positive vibes, positive attitude is so important, guys. IBS is super difficult to have a positive attitude. So that's a superpower. Awesome. Okay. Thank you very much for letting Thank us you. meet you. Let's continue with Emerson. Good evening, teacher and everyone. I am Emerson. Hello. 22 years old and I hope to learn a lot and practice every day. Excellent. Nice, to nice to meet you too, Emerson. We will, we will learn a lot. Thank you. And let's continue with Gabby. Good night, teacher. Hi, good night. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Is it okay if we call you Gabby? Yes, teacher, it's okay. I learn a lot of in this model. Excellent. We will, yes. Learn we will learn a lot in this module. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, now, teacher. Let's continue, please, with Joel. Hi, good morning, teacher. And good morning, and I'm sorry. No, <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> and good night, it's, it's, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little uh, tired because I'm, I'm I, uh, recently I came to the, to the world, but I, I'm, I'm sorry by the <laughs> uh, You started name, working Joe. recently. Yes, yes, I, I was working. And oh. recently I came to, the, to my house. But oh, I, I understand, yeah. <laughs> And I I want to learn um, a lot of I, I can and and I want to improve my English too and basically I need to improve my speaking this is my my best, my objective this model and I guess that I can do it with everyone. You nice are doing you. awesome. Let me tell you that you are doing great. Your pronunciation is great. And you have you have a very fluent way of speaking. So I have zero doubts that you will learn a lot in this module. Vamos a aprender mucho vocabulary. A lot. We will speak a lot. We will talk to each other. But we will also be doing a lot of reading so that we can be more fluent and sound as native as possible. Does that sound great? Okay. That's awesome. Good. And that's great that you are going to work. It is great that we have work, guys. Remember, we should be grateful because we have jobs, because it's a very um, rough time right now. So we are grateful for our jobs. It is very nice to meet you, Hoya. Let's see, let's please continue with Jose. Hello. All right, that's fine. In that case, it's your turn, Carla. I know you. I know who you are. You are with me. Hi, Carla. 
Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. I was very um, happy for um, right now. It's a talk about English for you. Um, um, <laughs> uh, I like it. The uh, my teacher is Alejandra. Excellent. Yes, I'm glad to hear that. You see, you want to stick with me. It's fun. My classes are great. We learn a lot and we move a lot so we don't get bored. So that's the testimony of Carla that she has. She had the previous module with me. So that's fun. Excellent. Now, let's please continue with Catherine. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Hi, Catherine. Good night. How are you? Um, it's a little hot here in my house, but oh, I'm is. fine. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. And you? I'm very well. Thank you. It's a little hot as well. Um, I do have AC, so that's why I have a sweater. But <laughs> um, sí, ha estado super caliente, sobre todo after the storm, después de la tormenta. Uh, I think we all uh, get used to the cold, right? But thank you very much. Yeah, Kathy. it's a, just a little. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll get. Um, it'll get. Uh, we will get used to it. It is very nice to meet you, Catherine. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. I'm very excited about this model. Awesome! I love to hear that. <laughs> now. Let's please continue with Lester. Hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. My name Hi. is Lester Cruz. Uh, you can call me Lester. Awesome. I hope I uh, learn a, a lot of things of, of the, this model because I need to practice my English for topics of my works and and I need to improve that that skill I want to awesome. that's so, perfect nice to meet you nice to meet you Lester it's nice to meet you too and we will be doing that and that is very important to me que también puedan tener vocabulary and practice for your work life para su vida laboral so at the end of the day it is inglés corporativo right and as you can see here, I'll show you here. This areas of reading and pronunciation, estas áreas, yo las dedico a tratar um, real life setting. Situaciones de la vida real, they can be about your jobs, they can be about um, maybe a trip that you're planning to do, un viaje que estén planeando hacer to an English speaking country. Y qué cosas que quieran saber cómo decir, cómo pedir, cómo encontrar, etc., etc. So real life things, como dice Lester, o relacionadas al trabajo, we will see that, okay? Specifically applying to your life. So that's sure. great. Sure. Yeah? Okay, uh, that will be very interesting. Yeah, it will. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. How to have more vocabulary? I hope to group in vocabulary for a conversation. I love that. Okay, question. The only possible answer for that question is surrounding yourself with the language. Rodearse del idioma. Poner su teléfono en inglés. Poner su computadora en inglés. Reading in English. Si ustedes leen las noticias, lean las noticias en inglés. Pongan su televisión en inglés. Anything you can do in English, try to do it in English. Si hacen las listas del súper, do it in English. Y llegará un momento en que le estén haciendo y digan, hey, ¿cómo se dice esto? And then you will search for it. Lo vamos a buscar y así vamos a aprender palabras. Y son palabras de la vida real. Porque they are things that we are doing. Hey, se me arruinó uh, la chapa de la puerta. My, oh God, how does the chapa de la puerta, how is it called? Oh, it's the door, it's the doorknob. 
So I have to go to frown and I have to buy a doorknob and I have to buy screws. Tengo que comprar uh, tornillos and I have to buy uh, whatever, you know. Todas esas cosas de la vida real, si sí podemos hacer listas, noticias, todo eso nos puede ayudar a tener más vocabulary, pero tenemos que rodearnos del idioma. Porque las personas que se van a otro país aprenden más rápido. No es que aprendan más rápido, es que they have to. Así que de manera moderada podemos nosotros simular o u obligarnos a nosotros mismos a hacerlo implementando el inglés en nuestras situaciones de la vida diaria. Reading, working, la computadora del trabajo en inglés, el teléfono en inglés, whatever we can. Y leer, guys. Leer es super important. No, not only is it interesting, no solo es interesante, sino que nos permite ver la sintaxis de las oraciones para nosotros poder hablar de manera más fluida. Y si no nos gusta leer, then that's fine. You can, for example, watch movies in English con los subtítulos en inglés. Y les van a salir algunas palabras que you may not know y las van a buscar y van a aprender ese vocabulario. That's a good trick. Teacher, I have a question. Yep. Yeah. Eh, que este que tan factible digamos así eh, para la pronunciación eh, estar escuchando una canción en inglés y estar viendo la letra de la canción en inglés o sea, para la pronunciación it's really good it's really good hay que ayuda mucho porque um, singers they may be from the United States they may be from the UK Uh, they may be from Ireland, Australia, uh, Iceland. There are a lot of English speaking countries. Y cada país tiene su propia pronunciación, right? Así que no solo nos ayuda para la pronunciation, sino también a aprender acentos. Accents are very important para que nosotros podamos comprender a los demás. No nos asustemos cuando escuchemos un acento que no sea el estadounidense, right? So it's a very good technique. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. So let's continue, please, with um, Lydia. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. How are you, Lydia? I'm so tired, but I'm here. Oh. Awesome, I love that. It is the middle of the week, just two more days. <laughs> two more days until the weekend. Nice Would to you... meet you. Nice to meet you too, Lydia. I think. Okay. Um, let's please continue with uh, Lisette. Hello, call me Lisette. Awesome, I will. And how are you today? Fine, fine. Awesome. I, I'm glad to hear that. And let's please continue then with uh, Marcela. Good night. Hi, good night. Good How night. are you, Marcela? I'm fine. Thank you. Awesome. I love it. Is it okay if I call you Marcela? Marcela, it's okay. Marce, okay, I will call you Marce. Thank you very much. And it's nice, nice to meet you. you. You too. Now, let's see. Let's please continue with Maritza. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. I'm happy Hi. to be in class again. Uh, nice to meet you, teacher. It is very nice to meet you, Maritza, and I am glad that you are in our class and we will be learning a lot. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Let's please continue with Nestor. Hello. Awesome. There we go. Hello. 
Nope, still can't hear you. Veo que se quitó el mute, pero I can't hear you. Okay, that's fine. Maybe he's having some microphone issues. Let's please continue with Reina. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm very good. Excellent. And is it okay if I call you Reina? No. And how do I you prefer, like to be called? I prefer you call me Beatriz. Beatriz. Okay, I will. I will remember that. Yeah. Beatriz. <laughs> Reina Beatriz. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Beatriz. I will. It is very nice to meet you, Beatriz. Um, nice to meet you, too. Thank you for letting me know. I will call you that. I won't forget. No se me olvida. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's please continue with Rocio. Good night, teacher. Hi, good night. Hi. Hi. A very instant your class because I your teacher is very <laughs> yes um, the, uh, it's um, a new experience and the um, <laughs> no forma de hablar in English Yes, Entonces, okay. para, yeah. para very, very important. It is, yes. And a good thing is de que, de que tengan ustedes different teachers or different facilitators is super important. Por eso mismo, por eso que dice Rocío, porque así acostumbramos al oído a escuchar different pronunciations different ways of speaking, different speeds, diferentes uh, velocidades. Yo sé que a veces si hablo demasiado rápido, díganmelo en English. I, I, I will slow down. I'm so sorry. Um, y eso, as, as Rocío said, that trains your ear. Porque ya en la vida real, nadie va a hablar como exercise one. Re listen and repeat, right? No one's going to talk like that. Siempre vamos a todos van a hablar de diferente manera, especially different accents and everything. So, yeah, we will also be learning about that. So it is very nice to meet you, Rocio. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Now, let's please continue with Rodrigo. Yes. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. And you? Awesome. I'm doing well as well. And uh, is it okay if we call you Rodrigo? I like Ariel. Awesome, Ariel. Okay, I will call you Ariel entonces. No problem. And it is very nice to meet you, Ariel. Thanks. I hope you learn a lot here. We will, no problem. Thank you. Thanks. And let's see. Let's please continue with Saul. Saul ya había pasado? Or not? I'm not sure. Saul ya había pasado? Or not? Okay. That's okay. In that case, let's please go ahead with uh, Sofia Ayala. Hello. Okay, no problem. In that case, let's go ahead and continue with Silvia. Hi. Hi, it's a pleasure. Perdón, perdón. 
tenía el micrófono inactivo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Let's, uh, we're just going to listen to Sylvia and then we will continue with Sophia. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. I'm late. Let's go, Sylvia. How are you, Sylvia? Hi, and you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. And is it okay if we call you Sylvia? Excuse me? And is it okay I if understand. I call you Sylvia? Está bien si le digo Sylvia? Yes. I like it. Awesome. The other name, I don't like it. You don't like the, your second name? El segundo? No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't like my first name. I like Alejandra, but I don't like my first name. And I won't okay. what it is. Ni se lo voy a mencionar. Okay. What um, is? No, I won't. No, I won't. Um, <laughs> a nosotros porque nos han dicho que pongamos el nombre completo en yeah, la plataforma, no porque yo solo me pondría el primero. <laughs> That's okay, guys. I understand. Thank you for sharing. I will call you Sylvia. Yeah, it's un gusto. Nice to meet you. Es un gusto y espero poder hablar un poquito más inglés con mis compañeros y bueno poner mucha atención y aprender. Yes, you'll see. You'll be able to do it. You can do it. So, thank you. Now, let's go ahead with Sofia now. Hi, Sofia. Hi. How Hi. are you? Hi. How are you? Hi. Nice, oh, to, meet you. nice to meet you. Uh, you can call me Sofia. Awesome. I will call you Sofia. Thank you. It's very nice I, to meet you too. I knew. I knew to practice very much the English. We will, we will practice. We will. Now that you told me, tell us those readings, vamos a practicar. So, con Sofia, read, 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 read. And we will practice the pronunciation and we will practice lots of things. Thank you, thank you, nice to meet you. Awesome, nice to meet you, Sophie. Now let's see, and let's finish with William. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi. everyone. Good How night. And um, everything is going well. Uh, I'm awesome. I'm new student in this module. Awesome, and we will learn yeah. a lot in this module. And is it okay if I call you William? Yeah, teacher, it's okay. Uh, teacher, I have a doubt. Yeah. Uh, respect the plan for. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if the the activities on plan for are evaluated. Yes, they are very important. Las actividades de la platform, they are evaluated. Every knowledge check and every activity is evaluated. And at the end of the module, um, Inglés Corporativo evaluates your um, participation and the, um, the assignments, la nota de los assignments, de los knowledge checks. Así que sí, they are evaluated, yes. Okay, teacher. Awesome. Thanks. And y vamos a terminar ahí, but I do see that Katia is here. Hi, Katia. Hi, Alejandra. How are you? How are you? <laughs> it is so nice Yay. that you are here with me. Yay. Yay. We're going to have so much fun. You can tell the rest of the class that we had fun <laughs> in the previous I know. module. We learned a lot. We did a graduation <laughs> of the module. Yay. So Yay. Katia was with me before, as was uh, Carla. So they can tell you that we will be learning a lot, guys. Yeah. And also, Antes de que veamos el nuestro planning, I want to tell you that we can all help each other. Todos nos podemos ayudar. Si yo por alguna razón, ustedes tienen alguna, de, alguna duda de un knowledge check or any exercise or topic, si yo no les puedo contestar en el momento en WhatsApp, you guys can help each other. Estamos todos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Si alguien sabe ayudar a su compañero, you can absolutely go ahead and do it. And así aprendemos todos y practicamos entre todos, guys. Con esto del um, coronavirus, 
no podemos convivir quizás en persona, but it is very important que compartamos siempre as partners, even from WhatsApp, aún desde WhatsApp, para que podamos ayudarnos entre todos. Uh, but I, yo voy a intentar estar tan pendiente as I can to help you guys. Now, today, he hablado mucho, but um, ya ustedes verán in the next um, in the next classes que vamos a leer, we're going to talk and we're going to be uh, doing a lot of activities para que todos hablemos y mejoremos pronunciation and reading skills and also vocabulary. So before we can do that, quiero mostrarles aquí como as you can see, this is the planning for our module. And you are starting module intermediate first, intermedio uno. This is weeks one, two, two. Esta es nuestra primera semana. And this is the second week. At the end of the second week, vamos a hacer el midterm test. And that is going to be on Friday the 4th, el 4 de diciembre. Today, we did the meetup. Nos hemos conocido. Y les estoy presentando the contents, right? Uh, some of the other topics that we are going to see, otros temas que vamos a ver, son el simple past. We are going to review the past tense, el tiempo pasado, que ustedes puedan hacer oraciones y preguntas in the past tense. And we have two days to do this porque puede volverse a un poco largo a la hora de hacer preguntas. We will also be seeing count and non-count nouns, contables y no contables, and how to use them, as well as expressions of quantity or quantity. Como decir cantidades, expresiones de cantidades. And indirect questions. These are indirect and not indirect, porque la palabra es direct, so indirect questions. Vamos a ver también evaluations with adjectives and nouns. Evaluaciones en el sentido de comparaciones. And also you will learn how to express wishes, como expresar deseos. If you want to go shopping, if you want to eat a cake, como expresar sus deseos. Y todos estos contenidos uh, los veremos evaluados en el midterm test. No se asusten. We will review everything. E igual el midterm test. Vamos a hacer un review para que ustedes estén listos y super super clear on how to do it. Now, for weeks three and four, para las semanas tres y cuatro, we have these topics. Seguiremos viendo el simple past. El pasado simple y el present perfect. Dos tiempos que se contrastan. Present perfect is happening. Right. It is, it, it is, it happens in the present. No en este momento, pero it does happen. Lo vamos a ver más a profundidad en ese momento. Y el simple past. Igual que el anterior, vamos a tener two days to talk about this. Porque puede volverse un poco tricky. As I said, tenemos dos días de reading and pronunciation que son para que hablemos de topics de la vida real. In practice pronunciation, como decía Sofía, como decía Joel, and fluency, right? Y vocabulary, que era lo que nos decía Carla. Vamos a ver también en esos días techniques de cómo obtener más vocabulario. And then on Thursday, we are going to see sequence adverbs, adverbios de secuencia, para darle seguimiento a oraciones. We are also, after we are done with the past, cuando hayamos terminado con el pasado, we are going to talk about the future. Vamos a hablar del futuro con going to y con will. When to use going to and when to use will. ¿Y cómo se modifican los verbos según cuál usemos? Después tenemos otro día, reading and pronunciation. Para esos días, when we have reading and pronunciation, 
lo vamos a hablar previamente en WhatsApp, de qué ustedes quieren hablar, what you want to know, por ejemplo, como nos decía Lester, para su trabajo en específico, and I will be asking, okay, so what do you guys want to know? De su trabajo, qué les gustaría saber cómo decir, o de qué les gustaría poder hablar en inglés. Y en base a eso vamos a, plan vamos a planificar esa clase. And we will be talking and doing some vocabulary about it. And then on Thursday the 17th, hacemos un review de todo el module. Quienes ya han estado conmigo ya saben cómo es esto, pero hacemos un review de todo el module. Nos aseguramos de que vayamos súper bien con los knowledge checks y que ya estemos terminando eh, la plataforma en términos de ejercicios. Y vamos a hacer el review del final test. And with that, we will be done with this module. And you guys will be off to intermediate two. But that will be in four weeks. Eso será en cuatro semanas, guys. Now. Teacher. Yes? Eh, ¿Puede compartir de nuevo las pantallas anteriores, porfa? Of course. Yes. Thank Aquí you. Aquí está. There we go. OK. Next, please. Es, solo estas dos son. This is week one, ah. and, two. one and two. Okay. And this is week three and four. Ah, okay. Yeah. Noted. Thank you. Of course. Does anyone else have any other questions? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta regarding uh, this content? Or are we all ready to go? All right. So, ahora, um, I do see that we are 30 people. Veo que estamos 30 personas. So, in case alguien no estaba cuando yo lo dije, solo volver a recordarles los dos announcements. Ustedes saben que normalmente las clases son de lunes a jueves, pero por el hecho de que hoy estamos comenzando día miércoles, esta semana y la próxima tendremos clases días viernes. So we will have classes on Friday the 27th and on Friday the 4th, el 4 de diciembre y el 27 de este, este viernes, right? Este viernes 27 de noviembre. Igualmente yo les estaré recordando. Y después de estas dos semanas, sí, ya normal, de lunes a jueves. Y el día 10 en su plataforma aparece como que el módulo termina el día 26 de diciembre, pero la plataforma la debemos de tener terminada para el día 17 de diciembre. By, the, by midnight on December the 17th, la plataforma debe estar terminada para ustedes poder estar eh, exitosamente inscritos para su siguiente module. Yes. Awesome. Okay. And please remember, si alguien no se ha unido aún a los grupos de WhatsApp, please go ahead and do that, porque por allí nos estaremos comunicando. Me pueden escribir también igualmente a mí, uh, personally, o um, por el grupo, es más fácil que les conteste por el grupo, but uh, <laughs> intentaré estar lo más pendiente Why? posible. <laughs> Yo personalmente, I, I really don't use WhatsApp that much. So, si me escriben en el grupo, yeah. es más fácil que lo vea, honestly. <laughs> All right, guys. So, let me go ahead and share my screen. Para que podamos ver la plataforma en estos últimos minutitos que nos quedan. Here we go. Aquí podemos ver la plataforma, guys. Esto es lo que les digo. Aquí sale que termina hasta el 26 de diciembre. Pero en reality, debemos de tenerlo listo para este día. 17. All right. 
E igualmente yo les estaré recordando para que no se nos pase la fecha de inscripción para el siguiente módulo. Aquellos que tengan um, este programa de parte de su empleador, from your employer, then you know que recursos, eso es con recursos humanos. But si están de parte individual, then I will be reminding you of it. Now, aquí podemos ver lo que yo les estaba comentando. These are the sections. Guys, we have five sections as usual, con una diferencia. These sections are quite short. Miren esta section, que corta es? Solo tenemos future with be going to and will. Y la razón de que esto sea así es que el future, aunque solo es un topic, can get quite extensive, se puede extender bastante. Um, porque es un tiempo completo, right? And we have to learn how to use it for each pronoun, for different situations, pero lo aprenderemos. Esta section se llama going places. Now, we also have the section number one, que vamos a comenzar tomorrow with the past tense to learn all about past tense. Simple past, y después vamos a ver present perfect, pero primero vamos a ver el simple past. Vamos a ver si me regreso aquí para mostrarles rapidito. But we will be seeing the past tense. I did, you did, he did, I worked. Ese es el simple past con los verbos en pasado. I worked. She worked. Y es muy importante, aquí lo tenemos. Let's see, where do I have it? Bueno, ya lo vamos a poner. Pero, we will be practicing pronunciation. Y las tres, pronun tres, tres pronunciaciones de los verbos que terminan en ed, en ed. Because we have verbs. Los que han estado conmigo, you know that I always talk about this. Um, los verbos que terminan en ed tienen tres pronunciaciones diferentes y esas, I'm sorry guys, pero no hay para dónde, son de práctica y son aprendidas. I wish que yo les pudiera decir, ah sí, yo me las aprendí así, but no. Y, y eso que yo les estoy diciendo la realidad, porque a mí sí me hicieron imprimir fotocopias y fotocopias y fotocopias con el sonido fonético de cada palabra and I was like, does this work? O sea, yo así me las aprendí. I don't recommend it. O sea, si ese es su método, you can go ahead and do that. Pero yo sí quisiera que me hubieran dicho, mira, no hay más manera mágica de aprendértelas. You have to practice. Three pronunciations. The words that end uh, in ed that sound like a T, como en tomato, como una T. Las que suenan como ed y las que suenan como solo una D. For example, the word worked sounds like worked. Worked, como una T, worked. The word baked, si suena la ed, suena baked. Baked, suena t, baked. Y por ejemplo, la palabra, let's see, I word, word, cried. cried, escuchamos claramente, ed, cried, jumped, jumped, como una T, jumped, studied, como una D. Learned, ed, learned, studied, jumped. Three different pronunciations. Practice. Lo vamos a ver más adelante también. Cuando vemos el past tense, esto lo vamos a ver más a profundidad mañana, guys. Ya ver um, how to form the sentences. Pero vemos que tenemos positive sentences and negative sentences. Para las cuales vamos a usar en las positives 
el verbo plus ed para los verbos regulares. En el pasado tenemos, bueno, en el inglés tenemos verbos regulares y verbos irregulares. Um, Katia y Carla, they, they must remember que nos echamos una clase hablando de los verbos regulares e irregulares. Um, about que con los verbos irregulares igual, no hay un truco especial práctica en reading, por eso hago tanto hincapié en leer porque al estar leyendo bueno, mira a mí porque de verdad me encanta pero si no es leer, estoy leyendo esto pero um, what is no This one, este no está en inglés, pero this is uh, Santiago Posteguillos, Los Asesinos del Emperador. And this is the history of Rome. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like history. Es, um, si les gusta la historia, this is a really nice book. Es la historia del emperador Trajano. Es, um, this emperor is actually the one that did the, um, the um, lo, hizo los primeros acueductos en Roma. So it's really interesting. Um, and he was, um, he was very smart. Uh, it's, it's fun. Um, leer les va a permitir eso. Ver muchos verbos y cómo se escriben y sus conjugaciones con otros verbos. Porque si yo les empiezo a hablar de que hay la conjugación, la sintaxis y I don't know, ay, tanta cosa. That's really not the way um, in real life, right? En la vida real no van a llegar y le van a decir. No le van a hablar a alguien sobre la sintaxis del verbo, right? But it is very important que lo comprendamos como in the back of our head, al, al, en el fondo, que lo tengamos guardado de reserva para que cuando hablemos, hablemos gramaticalmente correcto, right? Para que tenga sentido las oraciones que decimos. Entonces, veremos que los verbos regulares son los que terminan en ed y los verbos regulares son todos los demás. ¿Ya? Yeah? For example, the ones that um, finish, uh, for example, thing. Su pasado es sang. ¿Ya? Yeah? Fit. El pasado de fit es fit. Estos son ejemplos de verbos irregulares. Y algunos ejemplos de verbos regulares. Uy, I'm sorry. There we go. Y algunos ejemplos sí. de verbos. Sit también es un verbo irregular. Sit, su pasado es sat. Eat también es un verbo irregular. Eat, su pasado es ate. Un ejemplo de verbo regular podría ser jump. Su pasado es jumped. Jump. Jump. Otro ejemplo de verbo regular podría ser bake. Su pasado es baked. Bake. Y um, irónicamente, los verbos que, eh, que utilizamos más, como el verb to be, es irregular. And it is the most irregular of the verbs. ¿Cuál es el pasado del verb to be? En vez de I am, decimos I was. I was. You are. You. Were. Excellent. It is. And it. Was, was, and he is, he or she, was, that's was. correct. They, were, excellent. We, were, were, that's correct. Ahora. Ustedes pueden llegar a escuchar, por ejemplo, I was 
asleep. Yo estaba dormido. Pero ustedes pueden llegar a escuchar. If I were. Pero aquí ya vamos a entrar en otro tema del que vamos a hablar más adelante porque ya son las 10 with zero one minutes. Well, with, with, with one minute. So, no les quiero robar más de su tiempo, guys. I understand que todos estamos cansados. Uh, we all have work to do tomorrow. Bueno, yo no, porque es Thanksgiving. Mañana yo no trabajo mañana. Yay. Uh, pero sí tenemos clases. Ah, we do have classes. No trabajo en el día, pero we do have classes on, at night. Uh, yes, I'm so happy. Yes, so it's happy Thanksgiving for me. Um, so I hope that you have a very good night, guys. It is. It has been very nice to meet you. Mañana comenzamos a ver past tense. So be ready. Um, we will learn a lot. And I hope you have a good night, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.